Hello and welcome to the Guitar Grid. My name is Godfred Ozu, aka The Gentle Friend. Today I'll be teaching you how to create a very nice ring like this. I bet I get I get I bet you you're loving it so much. Yeah, I created this with Blender. So uh, with um, the new render engine engine called Cycles, and I'd like to show you how you can also render something like this. It's very simple. Alright, let me open up Blender. Um, okay. Let me open up Blender. Um, I need to open up. Okay. No. Okay. Um, basically, this is my setup of the whole thing. All right. Um, I have my base plane to serve as a table or whatever it might be. The red case, yeah, model with a sphere, and this one I sculpted it like um, to look more like a rose. And uh, my ring, that's a circle. Um, and this is a cone. And this is an um, icosphere. And it busy, busy, basic things. Not difficult to model, but looks very, very great. Sorry about that. Okay, um, to get into it, what you do is um, we have the Blender render, okay? The Blender render is the old way of rendering things with the specularity and all those things. It looks very very fake, um, but with with the with the cycles render, you see even even in preview when I just you know take it, look at how it looks right now, and if I take it to cycles render, it looks different. It looks it looks totally different all right what I actually did is um I created a source in blender render we have this um, light source this point light uh, and the light looks like it's coming from a point and you know it doesn't really look too real it looks very fake and all those things those days are over everything has changed a new revolution okay all right so without much talking let's let's move on um sorry um okay um i created a light source for this okay yes um and this is my light source this is what shows me the light it looks more like um the studio light um the theo light if i'm correct um it shows directly on it let me rotate it very well on the y-axis shows directly on my object okay and in the cycles render every every of the materials have changed look at it we have only few buttons but very very powerful if no more powerful than the blender render okay for now um we're gonna you we know um let this be the lamp or let it emit something to do that you come to surface you come to and you click on emission when you do that this emits light okay it emits a white color light you can also change it to uh, maybe a blue or pinkish color light so now it's gonna emit this this type of light okay let's see so it's obvious quite obvious okay all right and the strength of the light will be two okay all right um, I did not add a material to this. This has its own basic material already from the blender render. I don't want to change it. Okay, it all has its own basic. Um, what I did was um, I added um, a glossy, a glossy um, surface, a glossy material to the ring, and um, for the for the for the diamond itself, for the diamond itself, I added a glass to it. The same way I added uh, emission to that. Um, we have glass, we have glossy, we have glass and emission. So those are the three I'm using right now. Okay, uh, we've given the the, the meter uh, a pinkish color with a strength two. All right. Um, you can also want to render it. It's the same way you render, but this time around, um, it's different. Okay, in a way that um, now you come to integrator. We have the space uh, where you find um, the render and uh, preview. Okay, 
what you have to do right now is um this setting was for my you know old render so let's say 50 will be okay all right is if you want to preview it you see it as 50 you want to render it, it renders up to 50 samples it's um this is is it's almost the same as it's if not the same as um what you would find here let me just show you quickly um you come to the word settings um here yeah the samples yeah this one this particular one okay um i think i think it's almost the same or if not the same thing that's what this also does if you know how to if you know what that does that's what this also does okay it takes you the number of steps or the number of um um times it should render okay okay so i think um we said that to 50 50 all right um to preview it you, you can't see anything like this unless you render to save but in cycles random everything is now new as you're in 3d view you can see the exact finished product how it's gonna look like when it's finished okay so what you have to do is come to this uh, viewport shading and go to rendered okay you leave it for it to um, process it okay um, I'm using the CPU right now and uh, it's not that big okay as you can see we're beginning to get something really 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 cool really really cool so um probably let me change um i like to change um i like to change the light to white yeah yeah i like to change it to white not really good with colors though but um okay let's just change it to white pure white and to do that you drag this forward you drag this forward and you drag this forward you get your pure white all right so let's now we still we're in a preview we're in a 3d port but we can see the final result of what we want okay all right so let's see how it looks like okay pretty much really cool okay so we're beginning to get something good um, from our render all right okay so pretty much um <clears throat> when it's rendered um, i think i rendered this um with 300 samples yes i did it overnight and this is the, the morning i just woke up and um I'm making the tutorial over I over I rendered this overnight it took about one hour and I couldn't wait I fell asleep and um, it looks really 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 nice and what I actually did was um, this particular flare wasn't added with blender in blender it was actually added in paint shop yes it was added in paint shop so um, I don't mean okay let's let's have it away um, I'm opening paint shop right now How it opens so um okay it's opened okay it's open so it's open so what I'm gonna do is um I'll zoom in for you to see what I'm doing so you don't get lost okay all right I think it's I'm um, slowing down a little bit okay nevertheless okay <clears throat> all right so as you can see um, what actually happened was um, all this were not here okay um, was pretty much was pretty much like this okay and what I did was um, I went straight to this place and I added one step um, noise removal and it removed all the excessive noises and um pretty much i got a cool a cool stuff okay <clears throat> okay um so this is what we have and i tell you anyone who says blender is not powerful i think um the person really needs to rethink it because um the days of the 2.49 and all this stuff is over it's gone far 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 gone 
all right so i i added um brightness and contrast okay <clears throat> i could have added them in in um what do you call it i think this was the last um thing i used i increased it up to 39 can make it 40 and uh, this up to 42 okay all right that's what i basically used and um okay final we have our final preview all right now for 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 um uh, the flare like um that i went here to the picture tube and um i chose flare okay um all right, i think it's still keen sometimes so all right so i went to flare okay and i i went to um options there and i chose flare you can reuse it a little bit because that was too big and right here you click on it oh it's just too small okay so let me increase it a little bit all right so let's give it it's too, it's too small okay um not impressed yet i'm not impressed yet so um let's make it a little bigger all right i'm making it about 70 all right let's see mm, no still not impressed uh why why is it uh okay all right i think i'm impressed now probably too big so let's freeze it down a little bit um and give it a bit mm, okay um i think 110 will be okay i think um i think um just uh, it's okay all right i think this is this is pretty much it's cool so um let's just add one small one behind it yeah just to balance it okay all right so pretty much this was what i did and um i had it okay so um we have it like this i used it as a desktop and you i know i bet i bet you you're loving it it's really really cool it can do a lot of stuff um blender is powerful don't forget that all right you can do many 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 things okay i basically use blender for a lot of um broadcast um, broadcast graphics okay for editing and all other stuffs well thank you for watching my name is godfrey Ozu, aka the gentle friend and this tutorial is for digital grid thanks for watching